Boys and girls, it's been ages since I've done a video, so this is like a little warm up one to get me back into it. We've got a JCM 2000 DSL 100 head, and it's got the dreaded pale green circuit board for the main board down the bottom there. Um, I call it dreaded because um, the resin that it's made out of has a problem where it goes conductive over time and heat exacerbates the problem. That causes all sorts of weird things like hums and buzzes and stuff where they shouldn't be. But the, the primary issue is that it leads to bias drift. So it makes the um, quad of EL34s over dissipate and you can't turn it down no matter how much you turn the bias down. It just keeps rising until it runs away and blows HT fuse, which is what this came in with, blown HT fuse. So what I've done to demonstrate and to prove to myself it's the problem you remove the center tap of the output transformer. Transformer, sorry, I'm learning how to speak speak again. Um, <clears throat> and you connect well, pretty much to any pin except for the plate. But the most important, you connect to pin five, which is the control grid of any of the four valves. And we're showing open line, so infinite resistance, or as good as anyway. So what I'm going to do now is introduce some heat. This is all powered down, disconnected, the caps are discharged, the amp's not plugged into anything. It's just literally the meter and the amp, and that's it. Got my hot air station, best one around. Cheap too. Set it to full fan, 200 degrees. Now let's heat that area. Gently, try to keep it away from the caps. And the resistance is dropping. Look at that. Not even that hot. Alright, so that would start showing pretty pretty heavy um, leakage and bias drift. And it just keeps going. Now that's only 200 degrees, so what happens is the bias drift makes the valves get hotter, they get hotter, the board gets hotter, the resistance gets lower, the leakage increases, it's like a runaway effect until the fuse pops and it's probably cooked the valves as well. So there we go, confirmed did piece of shit board. So what we've got to do, Marshall have been aware of this and you've got to feel sorry for them, that would be a nightmare for any manufacturer. I'm getting in touch with the local Dizzy and um, we'll see if they can ship me out a new main board. Issue 20 apparently is the one to get and all the conductive issues are sorted. And it's basically a new board in the amp. Should be like a new amp again. It's got all the filter caps and everything on the one. Uh, but not cheap. So just grabbing a price for now and we'll see what the customer reckons. We'll leave it up to them. Thanks for watching champions and hopefully I'll get back into it. You'll see some more video content soon. Thanks for, for your patience. This bloody shop has been taking on my time. Anyway, rock on champions.